the dangle right here. Can you see that that board is completely shattered? And that Tex is wearing an entire roll of hay like it is, yeah. Oh, Thursday. I almost forgot about you. We had a whole week of a non-Thursday Thursday. And I almost felt like, huh, the times are changing and everything's gonna be fine and we're not gonna deal with Thursdays anymore, but oh no, you come back with a vengeance. Yeah, you couldn't have stayed away too long, could ya? Okay, I'm coming for you Thursday. You will not win. You're not gonna win. Well, friends, it's Thursday and I'm getting ready to toss some hay out. I did for this group of gentlemen and, oh, and the ladies too. And I noticed a little something here. Now, can you see? There was a new roll of hay put out today. And can you see the dangle right here? Can you see that that board is completely shattered? And that Tex is wearing an entire roll of hay like it is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Why not? It's Thursday. Why not just break some shit and really get things cranking around here? Uh, <clears throat> this seems completely appropriate and normal that Tex would be wearing an entire roll of hay. Yeah. So, the thing is, is I can't get in there to fix the board because he's in the hay. Now, the good news is, is all the string was removed, so, you know, like, that's a total plus. But the minus here might be that if he continues to push through and gets to that second bail, which was the blockade of, you know, that's like the double back safety that I asked Lester to put in here. Um, if he destroys the second one, that means that all of the bulls will be able to get out all night long. Which seems like a really funny thing to someone who's not here. But to me, that feels a little unsafe. Feels a little bit like, you know, a little unplanned situation. Oh, look, there's the rest. That's special. That's super. We just went ahead and broke through all of it. And he's going to completely bury himself. Look, there's the center of the roll right there. Yeah, just went ahead and rolled that. I'm surprised it's not in the pond yet. That's probably going to happen. And of course... It's going to happen on Thursday, Stella. <sighs> yeah, this is crazy fun for Tex. He didn't even come up to eat any green hay. Everybody else is up here munching on it like no big deal. No, not Tex. He's got everything that he needs right here. This is the most fun ever. He's pretty much creating a Swamp Thing costume. Um, cousin It right no thing cousin it yeah cousin it he's really going for all kinds of things today but uh mostly what he was going through was break that board and like a uh ninja he went ahead and did so now i don't know if the bottom board is broken too but it doesn't matter because he can step right over it yeah i'm talking to you sir so the thing is is the only way to distract him away from this would be to drive some grain out and hope that he's interested in it. <laughs> Are you trying to be a buffalo? That's what you look like right now is a dang buffalo. I... He's not going to be satisfied until it's all destroyed. And that's where my fears come in. Fiona, move out of the way, lovely. I'll have to lock the dogs up all night tonight because if they get out, at least he'll be stuck inside here. And my fears will be that he's going to break into there. But like I said, at least he would mostly be trapped inside the yard area. He'll probably eat the whole garden and toss that around, but I don't want him to toss the dogs around. So they'll have to, they'll have to be locked up tonight, which isn't so great. Oh my gosh, buddy. Really? You're just going to make yourself... Are you making everyone's bed for tonight? It is going to rain. So, I guess he's getting it all 
warm and cozy for everyone. Well, I guess that fun is over. I guess he was like, well, bed's made, fellas. And now he's ran everybody else off. Well, I mean, it's pretty normal for things to go down. Just want to look real quick here at his little crown. Oh, it fell off. Okay. So, all I can hope is that this is enough distraction. You think it is? I'm not so sure that it is. I am, uh, I'm going to leave him here to feast and then I'm going to, uh, go put some hay around back for the, uh, birds. And then I got to feed goats and the cows on this side, a little bit of hay and, We'll be back to check on his situation. If I can get him enough hay and keep him over here, then I can grab an extra board or two and try to put that up. But that is a pretty good break. All right, hay is out for everyone. The gang is all coming up to eat. So that is a good win. And if I can keep them contained in one spot, then my risk of the tech situation goes down much less. Okay, let's go see if we can fix the fence. That's right. The fence, the hay holder, whatever you want to call it, Stella. We got to work on it, baby. We can't take the chance of, of tech's breakout overnight. Lester's not here and as much as I want to think that I can be a cowgirl, I'm not a dumb one. So let's try to prevent it as much as possible. He's over here looking at the pretty ladies. This is a win. I'm going to grab the screw gun and hopefully find a board. Let's put this up first. All right. It is not like a two by ten. We don't have any of that and I probably wouldn't be able to lift if we did. But I got to two by six here and that's gonna have to do for now it'll at least if i can put it on top of that existing board it'll be okay because it'll just patch the middle now keep everybody else away and go get the screw gun that is not where it's staying so don't laugh at me okay nobody laugh everybody go mind your business just mind your business i love working on thursday all the live long day Tex and I believe that is Santoro are in my way now. Mike, how am I supposed to do this if they're all up in my business? <sighs> this is not good. This is not good at all. I need them to go away. And all right, I'm going to pour feet out now. This turned into like 97 more layers and steps than what I intended it to be today. All right, I have poured some grain up here and I'm sorry for the fast moving video, but I don't have much time before he comes and tries to follow me down here. So let's get this party started. Oh, not you either. It ain't pretty, but it's up there and here he comes, which means here I go. So, oh my goodness. All right, this hopefully at least just puts a little bit of a barrier. Mm. I hope he's got enough hay to play with on the outside. That's all I'm gonna say, is that he doesn't get his horns underneath there and rip it off, which is what happened to the other one. Um, hopefully he enjoys this playtime on the outside and doesn't decide that he needs to tackle this second one. I think I am going to park Lester's big tractor like butt it up to here just in case <sighs> don't you be mad he's looking right at that board going why is that there i just took care of that i don't think you realize how fast my heart's beating and how fast i moved to make that happen i also had to pick up that half of the board see that piece that's standing up right there i screwed it into the the existing part simply because it has screws sticking out of it that are bent and i don't have the right tool with me to clip them off and i didn't want anybody to step on it so they're up right now i'm gonna go get the uh bolt cutters and cut those screws off the top but i did screw it into the wood just for now in case i can't actually get back in there and i can't do any of it with him that close anyway so 
this is the temporary fix and uh this is thursday yay uh -huh.